Okay. So today, instead of shorts, which gives only 60 seconds for us to update uh, fact, uh, we are recording this um, uh, two, three minute video. Let's see how it works because at times we need to explain a little more for more clarity. So today we'll be discussing antidiuretic hormone ADH, how it's relevant in the ICU. So a little bit about ADH. ADH is secreted from your brain from the hypothalamus and the, as the name suggests antidiuretic hormone, it acts on the collecting tubules and it tries to regulate the water balance. It conserves water at, uh, in, uh, in the body. So there are two conditions, one in which ADH is secreted more and another condition is in which ADH is not secreted. So suppose you have a patient in which your ADH is not getting secreted. So what will happen? The kidney will continue to lose free water in the urine disproportionate to sodium. So your blood will get concentrated with sodium. So patient will present with hypernatremia because free water has got lost in the urine. So one, one way is to do serum osmolarity, urine osmolarity and try to find out whether the urine is dilute and uh, uh, blood is concentrated. But clinically, what you should see is you should see how much is the urine coming in this patient. It will be somewhere around 200 to 50 polyuric patient will be polyuric in spite of not taking too much fluid or the patient will present that he is taking a lot of fluid and uh, he is passing urine. Secondly, it may give another history that because the patient is polyuric, he tries to uh, not drink water. So he thinks that if I drink water, I need to go urine. So in the ICU, you will have a patient in which you will have hypernatremia and the urine will be dilute. If, if it is a catheterized patient, you will see very dilute, very white colored urine, clear crystal colored urine and the patient uh, seems to be dehydrated. So this condition is diabetes insipidus. So in diabetes insipidus, ADH is not secreted. So that's why body is not able to conserve free water. Your patient will pass lot of amount of urine. It will be clear dilute urine and the body will present hypernatremia because free water is lost in the urine. The opposite is SIADH. So in SIADH, your body is secreting disproportionate amount of ADH. So it will try to conserve water from the kidney. So what will happen? You will have a, a patient will have a concentrated urine, dark urine, or uh, you will think that this patient is dehydrated, but the free water will rise in the body. So this patient will have a dilute sodium. So patient will have hyponatremia. So hyponatremia will be there, serum osmolarity will be a little dilated, urine osmolarity will be concentrated. So clinically, hyponatremia will be there, there will be signs of euvolemia or slight fluid overload, but usually euvolemia and the urine will be a concentrated one. So the treatment in both the conditions differ. In diabetes insipidus, where ADH is not secreted, you need to supplement that. So uh, desnopressin spray, nasal puffs are there. And in the uh, uh, SIDH, you need to restrict free water. So the free water is restricted and then the sodium levels comes to normal. So this is a short about ADH, uh, two conditions which are clinically relevant and common in the ICUs. Diabetes insipidus is usually in the trauma patient uh, in which they have head injuries or any intracranial pathologies. And SIDH has multiple causes. You can read more about these two conditions. But just to give you an idea, a short video about ADH, condition in which it is low and condition in which it is high. Thank you.